guys, I'm Urban Fox Gamer. Today, I'll be showing you a tutorial in 3ds Max 2014 on how to make your own muzzle flash. So let's begin by setting up our our scene scene here with the with your gun. So let's make a plane. Simple plane, any shape, but with rectangular. Let's change this segments to one. Now let's open material editor by pressing M. Change the standard to architectural. Change the 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 piece map to mine. I'm going to link these files in the description below so you can use. And so let's open open this. Um, refraction to 1. Now to make it transparent, special effects cut out and use a black and white map flash a i'm gonna link that in the description again also now click and drag here Ch click this show shaded material in viewport now let's adjust this and put this near the muzzle there we go There you go. Let's try to render. As you can see, it's a simple muscle flash. So let's add luminance. Luminance to like 15. As you can see, it's now brighter. Even here in the rendering. Now, if you want to glow, you want to have that light um, creeping to uh, all over the barrel. It's uh, let's change our assign render by entering render setup. Go down, change the assign render to mental ray. Now go to global illumination, change this to like 200, 202. Go play around with this. The higher the number, the longer the rendering, and of course, it will be more, it will look better. So let's go back. We render this again. S still doesn't have that glow yet because we need to add more lights, muzzle flashes. So let's try to do this first. Rotate 45 degrees. Adjust this 45 degrees, or whatever angle you like. For me, it's going to be 45 degrees, so it's more wider. Now click the Click both of them, rotate 90 degrees, so you do this. Oh, wait. We're gonna grab all three, then rotate 90 degrees. So it's now up, and it's all muzzle flashes there. As you can see, it's now looking like a, a muzzle flash from a video game. If you like, aim it here, and look, look at here. So, that's probably gonna work. If we try to render, it has that orange as you can see there. Now to make it like glow even more, let's change the luminance texture with the black and white one. It will not glow more higher, so let's change that a little bit. To 500 now this time we need grab select all the muzzle flashes now op open object properties then uncheck receive shadows and cast shadows because this is a light object and light doesn't like cast shadows or if there's a shadow it will not have received shadows so let's press ok Now, let's get a light, free light, okay, change the metric, just click there, now just aim it here, don't put, it, put the light here because it will not give light all over, it will be blocked by the muzzle flash, so put the light here, 
as much as possible away, super away from the muzzle flash. Probably here will work. And let's change this. Shadows on. Uniform spherical. I think we need to change this to Kelvin. 2.5 is yellow if I'm correct. 2000. Now let's change the intensity to like probably uh, 20. It depends on your scene by the way because I think mine is small. Probably your gun is big, bigger in your scene or smaller so you need to play around with this. So let's try to render this. As you can see, it's now super bright and it's casting a yellow tint. So that's pretty much it. Just play around the settings if you're having like a super bright muzzle flash. Even here, just play around with the luminance because this is now like super white and it doesn't show the texture anymore. So just play around with it. So if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, if you like more videos from me, um, subscribe. It really helps out. So that's all, folks. This is Urban Fox Gamer signing out.